In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Venn diagram using the Venn app. So about a week ago in class, I asked you to uh, download this app on your iPad. Hopefully you still have that handy. If not, it is a free app in the App Store. You should get that downloaded. And then last week during a digital day, I had you work on this chart. Um, hopefully you still have it saved. Um, your completed chart. If not, send me a message and I will send your file back to you because I have a copy of it on Schoology. So those are the two things you're going to need to complete your assignment today. What you're going to do is you're going to take the data from this chart along with information you learned in the microscope lab from the cells that you saw and you're going to create a Venn diagram to show the difference between one of these two sets of information. So you're going to choose either a Venn diagram that shows plants versus animals or a Venn diagram that shows prokaryotic cells versus eukaryotic cells. You do one or the other, not both. All right, so once you're all set up and you got your materials ready to go, you're going to open up the Venn app. And this is kind of what the first screen is going to look like. It's going to ask you to set up a user account first. Um, so you're going to hit this button down here at the bottom where it says new user and name it whatever you want. And then once you have your new user, a little icon will show up. You get a chance to like personalize your avatar or whatever you want to do. But once that's up and running, you hit that icon and away you go. Your first screen then looks like this. You have to give your Venn diagram a name. Down here at the bottom, it says project title. Please give it your name with either your first initial and last name, or if that is something you share with someone else in the class, do your whole first name and last name. Uh, the reason I ask this is because this is how, uh, when you hand this in, I will see the title um, only, and it'll be easier for me to see who's handed in their work. So hopefully you've used Venn, Venn diagrams before in class. Uh, basically, it's a way to show um, things that are similar between two groups and things that are different. This area in the middle is to show overlapping between two groups, and the areas at either side where they don't overlap shows where they are different. All right, so once you get it titled and you move on to the next page, you're going to see a generic Venn diagram that looks like this. Now the first thing I would do is double click on your circles to give them different names and to resize them. So right now they're circle one and circle two. We'd like to make them a little bit bigger to give them a little more space and to name them either plant and animal or eukaryotic and prokaryotic based on which group you decided to actually write about. So when you double click on them, as you see this little um, arrow thing shows up, that's what you use to resize them or to make the circles bigger. And then right over here is where you name your circles. I already have this one named over here in the corner as eukaryotic cells. So right now in this screen I'm labeling circle two as prokaryotic cells. And you can change the color of your circles if you want, if you have a color preference. When you're done you hit the check mark and you're done with the labeling. The next thing you want to do is start to put in the characteristics for each cell type. So you're going to be up here at the top first and you're going to click on new item and when you hit new item this box appears and we're going to put those items into the circles um, what, later by dragging them to where you want. So right now we're just going to come up with the items. So again, my example is prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Uh, one of the items that is similar or different between them is the structure of a nucleus. So I'm going to write in the box where it says label your item nucleus. And in the item description, I'm going to say what a nucleus does. Okay? So the item description is really up to you. If it's a structure, that's pretty easy. Um, if you would say, for example, um, so, uh, small cells, then you could put in the description like eukaryotic cells are smaller than prokaryotic cell. Okay, it's just a, a way to describe your thinking. Okay, so the item description describes what you're thinking for that item. When you're done, you hit the checkbox and that item will appear. 
So as you can see here, the nucleus item, remember that was the label, shows up here. I can drag that wherever I want. So I could put it here if I thought it was just for eukaryotic cells, they just had a nucleus. I could drag it over here if I thought it was just for prokaryotic cells. Or I could put it in the middle if I thought both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells had a nucleus. If you need to edit that, you just double click on it and you can go back and change anything you want. So, moving on then. If I think I'm done with this particular Venn diagram, this is what I'm looking for. So, in the final product, I want three differences for each type. So, in other words, each of those individual circles, in my case the pink circle and the green circle, should have three items in them. Okay, three ways that they are different from each other. And then three structures or features they have in common, so that overlap area should be right in the middle. You should have three items there. So when you're all done, you're going to have nine items on your Venn diagram. Okay, so three for each of the differences, and then three for what they have in common. Now, what could you use as examples for similarities or differences? Remember I said you can use the data from your table that you did last week? And you could also use information from the microscope lab. So what are some of the things we looked at with those? Well, the parts of the cells. I gave an example of the nucleus. There's ribosomes we talked about, cytoplasm, cell membrane, cell wall, uh, chloroplasts, all of those things. The size of the cells. You looked at different kinds of cells in class. You saw bacteria cells, which are prokaryotic. You saw plant and animal cells and protist cells, which are eukaryotic. So think about the size of those or the shapes of those that you saw in the microscope lab. And then think about the organisms they come from. Do they, are they single cells that live on their own? Or are they cells that live into a, in a multicellular organism like us? We are multicellular organisms. None of our cells live on their own. So again, use your research from the table and the microscope, observa microscope observations to get those uh, Venn diagrams filled up with three differences for each type and three structures they have in common. Then you're going to hand it in. So when you're done um, <clears throat> on your main page, you're going to get to this point and you have three options. You can save it or you as a draft or a final, whatever, and then you can share it. Okay, so I would save it for sure because in case it doesn't get to me for some reason, then that's going to be important. But then also, I want you to share the final with me via email. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you go to your next um, button or you hit share final and your next screen is going to look like this. So again, this is the name of your file and that's why I had you name that in the beginning. So right here, okay, I wanted to have your name in there so it comes across the right way. And then um, the uh, last thing you're going to do is put in my email address and I want you to use the tigers85.com email address, our Google email address. You also all have that email address. Okay, So we can go back and forth uh, to each other with that email address. If for some reason you cannot send this as an email, go back to your original picture, share or uh, take a screenshot of it, and then I do have a place in Schoology for you to upload the photo to at least show me that you've got it done. And when you get back in class, we'll figure out a way to send it to me. All right, that's it. Make sure you ask questions if you run into any problems.